Hi, I'm Matt from Understand E, and in this very quick video tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can use a Magento static block in your eBay listings. Dave's not with me for this video tutorial, but I know you would ask the daft question, why would you want to do this? Now, this boils down to one of two reasons. The first reason is that you have information that which you want to use over and over again. And a prime example of that is a size guide. So if you have a size guide which never changes from one product to another product, then this would be a brilliant use of a Magento static block in your eBay listing template because you could just pop this code in here and it would just kick in and you can then have your size guide in all of your eBay listings. And the second reason is because you're not using or haven't heard of widgetchimp.com before. Now, that's an advanced listing template tool and you can remote control these blocks. And I'm not here to sell you widget chimp. So those are the kind of two reasons why you would want to do this in your eBay listings. And the good news is it's really straightforward to do as you're about to find out. So let's jump across to Magento and go and do this for real on an eBay listing. So I've been jumped across to Magento and we're going to actually do this on a live eBay listing. So the first thing which we need to do is actually create the static block within Magento. And that's really easy to do. So if you go to CMS into static blocks and then on the right hand side, click on this big button which says add new block. So we'll click onto the new block and we need to give the block a title. So we're going to call ours eBay and then hyphen size guide. Now the identifier is the most crucial part of this entire process. Well, and the keywords, which we're going to give you in a few moments time. So let's go and call this size underscore guide. Like so we're going to choose all store views. We're going to leave the status as enabled. And this is where in the content area, this is where you would add in your information for your size guide, for example. And I've been in typed in, this is the size guide here. Obviously, you would spend more time than what I've just been and done on entering your size guide. And once you've been and entered your information, which you want to repeat in all of your eBay listings or a group of your eBay listings, just take note of that identifier again. So size underscore guide, that's the key which we need in a few moments time. And then press save block in the top right hand corner. Excellent. That's step number one. We now need to do step number two. So if we go to sell on eBay and then into listings. Now we do have quite a few listing groups within m 2 e Pro. So I'm just doing a quick search for our test group. There we go. Click into your listing group. Now I'm guessing you're like us and we can't remember which template this listing is using on eBay right now. And to find this out, it's really straightforward to do. So in the middle here where it says view mode, we're going to drop that down and then choose settings in the middle and our page will refresh. And there underneath description, it says description use from listing settings. Now, if yours doesn't say that and gives a M2E Pro description policy name, then you'll want to go into sell on eBay, into configuration, then onto the policies tab and find the description template that way. However, I'm assuming because it's most likely that your settings in here are going to say use from listing settings. Now, if you go up to the edit listing settings button in the top right hand corner, then click on to selling and a new tab will open up. And there we go. There's our description and it's saying description hyphen eBay title and then M2E Pro have been included in this little handy view forward slash edit link. So let's click on that and another tab will open up and it will take us straight to our description policy for this listing on eBay. So the section which we want is actually further down this page. So I'm just going to scroll down and then where it says it view forward slash edit custom description. I'm going to click on that and you'll see that we've got a very, very basic eBay listing template. So let me just press return a couple of times. Now, up on your screen right now, I've included the short code which you would want to add to be able to bring this static block into your eBay listing. So you'll see it's got two curly brackets, block type, and then that equals CMS forward slash block. So we're telling Magento and M2E Pro that we want a block. Okay, and then crucially, block underscore ID 
is going to be the block name. So ours was size guide a few moments ago. So let's go back to Magento now in M2 Repro. Let's paste in that code. And where it says your block ID, we named ours size guide like so. And that's it. That's how you can get a static block from Magento into your eBay listings. Now, our template is very, very basic. And this could have been very simply a tab which you've got in your listing template. And on that tab, it says size guide. And then the information which you've got in your static block is going to get populated from the static block in Magento onto your eBay listing. So with that said, let's go and press save now at the top. Let's go and click on confirm. We'll wait for that to finish. Excellent. So let's close that tab down. Let's close the other tab down. And let's change the view mode back to eBay. And let's go and revise this item live on eBay. So it's going to hit the item on the left hand side from the actions menu. Go and choose revise items on eBay and then click submit. Now, this will take a few moments to go through. So we'll just wait for M3 Pro to go and revise this item live on eBay for us. Excellent. That's now been finished. So if we now click on our item ID, we'll go to eBay. And what we should now find is that in our eBay listing template, we've got this extra bit of information in here saying this is a size guide here, exclamation mark. So that was how you can add a static block or Magento static block into your eBay listings. I know our examples are very, very basic, but as you saw back in Magento, you can add full blown HTML into your static blocks. Now there is a little note here, and it's an important one to take notice of, is that Unlike if you make a change to your listing template, so if you think back to a couple of moments ago and think back when we changed the item description policy within m 3 Pro, and we had that pop-up box that m 3 Pro was going to go off and update our listings for us, the thing to note about using static blocks from Magento in your eBay listings is that m 2 e Pro will not notice that you've been in updated that static block. So let me just explain what that means, is that if you change the contents of that static block, so maybe you add some more sizes to that static block, M2E Pro won't automatically kick in and revise those eBay listings for you. You'll have to go back to your listing group or to any of the listings which are using that template policy within M2E Pro and then manually revise those listings on eBay. So with that said, for myself, Matt, Thank you for taking the time to watch this video tutorial. Cheerios. So we hope you've been and found this video guide useful. And myself, Matt, and me, Dave, we believe that to use Magento, you don't need a degree in nerd. And that's what we've exactly what we've been and done. We've been and created you over 70 full HD video guides on how to use Magento, all in plain English. And if you'd like to know more about myself, Matt, or me, Dave, and more about what we're doing at Understanding E, why not visit us at understandinge.com forward slash now. And we'll see you there. And for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you soon.